morning. Uh, this welcome to a bank holiday special. <laughs> uh, myself and Colin from French Countryside Life, me from AJ in France. We are currently embarked on the renovation of Colin's bathroom, as you can see. We thought we'd do a little video today because it's bank holiday and in France and we don't want to make too much noise so we're going to look at fitting the spotlights in the ceiling and we've bought them yesterday but the difficulty is we've got no cables running to uh, anywhere but the center so we're going to find out what's on the other side of this ceiling and it's been there for a long time hasn't it well the only access to the loft space above here is I think through a hatch on the front of the house that uh, we've, I've never opened. Uh, it's secured by a few Phillips screws. Um, so it'll be a voyage of discovery. So it's either screwed it in place to keep something in or keep something, something out. out. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah. So this is going to be a bit of an adventure into the loft above here, which we've never been in. Or into you, the you've certainly never been in. Into, into the, the abyss. Unknown. A bit like the Blair Witch Project, really. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Let's go and have a look and I'll uh, we'll show you what we're talking about. This here, that's the door in question. So got a, a ladder. Let's see how this goes. Oh, okay. That was a brief look in the um, in the attic, and it's boarded out on the floor with a load of uh, like cotton insulation that's just probably been blown in. Um, uh, the boards are good because we can move around in there. But they're not so good if we're putting lamps underneath. So we decided the best cause of action is to mark out the lights um, in the bathroom, drill the holes, and then just see what's above there. And then we'll try and locate it from upstairs and run the run the cables to them. So next thing is in the bathroom. So can't get it stuff. Having looked in the um, the loft, we're now going to put the holes in the ceiling for the down lights. So the first thing, because this room is not square, not one wall is square or flat or straight, we're going to have three lights, uh, one here, one over there, and one over there. So we need a line, um, which we're using the laser level that Colin's reviewing on his channel. All the holes are drilled, so um, it's quite good because we've got uh, quite a lot of space above, 110 mil. But I wonder if you can see this daylight. Daylight. Let's go upstairs. Have a look. <coughs> That's not a loft edge. Oh yeah. Hey Colin, yeah. this is your problem with the beam and the roof. Oh, sh yeah, look at that. I have to bleep that out, obviously. Sorry. <laughs> and, and that one. Oh. Enjoying yourself in there? Um, like Cliff Richard on a double decker bus. <laughs> I think uh, uh, where we want to be is right down <coughs> over there, way down in the corner, and the head height is so low, yeah. it's just not going to be practical to do what we want to do. So we're going to have to find another way of doing it from downstairs. 
which isn't, isn't going to be a problem but I just thought we could do it nice and quickly up here and while we're here we'll show you a picture from the outside of the house but you can see that the roof is uh, bend, bows in in the middle doesn't it yeah and it's this uh, main ridge beam has uh, got a crack all the way through it so we're going to formulate a plan and put a temporary support in just to make sure it doesn't get any worse and then we can look at lifting it up and fixing it permanently yeah. and we'll get it temporarily supported uh, as soon as we go to the shop this week I think yeah right then Good. we'll have to find another way around this okay how was that that was horrifying <laughs> horrifying <laughs> Yeah, so um, good news, bad news. Um, bad news is that, uh, as Andy just said, uh, we couldn't access the uh, the top of the um, uh, the bathroom ceiling. Um, it's too shallow in there; you just can't get in there. Um, <coughs> good news, in a way, that uh, we found one of the roofs um, sagging, which is exactly what Andy said. Uh, it was going to be it's, uh, a cracked ridge beam. Um, we've now got a um, a path beat through the insulation to get to the spot where we can jack it up and uh, yeah. hopefully resolve it to a certain degree anyway. Certainly put a temporary support in for now and then reassess, <coughs> reassess later on what are we going to yeah. do it. But it shouldn't be too hard to get a beam in there because you've got a nice access yeah. area. Yeah, and it's a straight line. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I've actually got a beam as well. Oh good. Yeah. We'll do that before. Oh, before four o'clock get that done anyway uh okay so let's go in and find another way of getting these cables in for the light okay the end of the day six o'clock how did we get on so far all the lights are in looks a lot better i think you'll agree um got the mirror connections capped off made safe uh, we got the double switch for the fan for the lights it's a good idea to have the fan on a separate switch like in the middle of the night someone gets up they don't have to turn the fan on and you can turn it on individually if you need it for any any reason um okay so what we're doing now let me show you That's those two come up here colin has very neatly clipped a new um, conduit across here, across the ceiling to the junction box, and he's currently very neatly that's really good uh, tidying up the cables and connecting everything up down the end. There, I don't know if you can see, is the supply for the fan which we've just blanked off for, for now just in case anyone turns the switch on that's the supply uh, that's the cable down to the switch it all looks a lot neater and a lot safer and it'll all be rcd protected which the original bathroom wasn't so yeah next bit will be when we test it Hold on one second. Yes. colin's just finished Look at that, how neat is that? Good job. Here we go, all done. Uh, Colin's connected it in the fuse box. And this is the result. Looks good. Lovely. Really nice. A lot brighter in here. And because we've removed the middle light, it just looks a lot bigger, which is really good. It does actually, the room looks, I mean, <laughs> It actually is bigger. Well, it is, yeah. <laughs> Probably about, <laughs> I don't know, 200 mil bigger. Right? I know, but um, it, it, it just feels like an area, like a bigger space. Yeah. That's it. So, so that's it for this video. Uh, it was just a little video on putting the lights in and doing a few bits and bobs. Uh, it's more of a bonus video, really. But I think it's definitely improved the place. How have you found it today? Instructional. Instructional. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's been really good. Andy, um, 
did me these um, diagrams on the walls. Uh, what's my style? But certainly this one. And uh, I took a photograph of it on my phone and took it in there so that I could wire that junction box in there. And um, as I say, it's the first time I've ever done that. First time. And it's, it's been brilliant. I've yeah. really enjoyed it. It's pretty neat for the first time as well. Mm. I'm very, very impressed. Okay, so that's it. We're going to carry on with the bathroom. Tomorrow I'll do some more recording, but it's going to be plumbing, removing all the old plumbing, and then uh, show you what we got from the DIY store to make sense of it all, because we've got a mixture of English uh, and French pipework. So that's it. Um, I'll see you on the next one.